Hi, I'm Drew Brown. Welcome to Tip Scene. I'm sitting here with Lydia T from Dia Collections. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your busy schedule to. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Can you tell us what inspired you to pursue a career in design? Um, I think it requires a lot of passion. You have mm. to love uh, being in the fashion industry. It's a very difficult um, field to get into. It's a field, it's a field that um, it's a difficult field to succeed in. Now, you design luxurious sleepwear. What made you decide to you know, go that route as, instead of like ready to wear? Or um, I wanted to do something that was different from what everybody else was doing, and mm -hmm. um, sort of like creating a niche for myself. Um, but I also wanted something that was um, that really benefited women and how women wear clothing today. Mm -hmm. um, I find that we don't really take the time to take care of ourselves. Instead of fast fashion, um, I want to work on something that was a little bit more um, longer lasting okay. and, and had more health benefits to it. So mm -hmm. um, I wanted a collection that was based on good materials mm -hmm. um, that actually can benefit the wearer um, while wearing them and making them feel great about themselves. And what materials do you use? Uh, right about? now I specialize in silk and mm -hmm. I like to move on to um, high quality cashmeres and, and beautiful cotton mixes. So oh. definitely beautiful luxury but natural mm -hmm. materials. Um, I really believe in having that natural element in there. Um, mm -hmm. Synthetic materials don't give that ben same benefits that natural materials do. Now do you follow the same kind of schedule as the regular like you know do you do yes, like there, well there is a schedule in the fashion industry yeah. so you do have to follow some of the schedule in terms of the design it is about mm -hmm. a, at least a year ahead mm -hmm. uh, in terms of preparation so it's a lot of work and a lot mm -hmm. of pre-planning um i do follow a little bit of the trends i think that is important because we do um, want newer things and more updated things as gotcha. opposed to having something that's um, really you know, very dated looking. Gotcha. Um, what was your inspiration behind your last collection? Um, I was very inspired by um, Italy and the romance of it, Italian fashion and Italian women on, on how uh, beautiful and voluptuous they were. Mm -hmm. um, so it was, um, it was just very seductive and sensual, but also very elegant and um, mm -hmm. just elegant. Exactly. <laughs> Now, after, after each collection, I want you to fill in the blank. Uh, this is a fill in the blank question. So after each collection, how do you, I like to unwind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I sleep. <laughs> you sleep? <laughs> sleep would be definitely good. <laughs> now, since you're specializing in silk, um, where do you get your, your silk from? Do you get it from here in Canada or do you have it? Um, wherever I can find good silks. <laughs> so some of it is um, from Canada and um, the best silks are made in Asia so I, I still um, do regular trips to Asia to, to pick up my to, silks. To get it. Do you find it uh, hard to kind of find good silk here? Yes, um, there isn't actually very many suppliers that specialize in silks and at, at very very good prices. So silks uh, for the longest time have been going up in price. Mm -hmm. um, because of the, the lack of supply um, that we're starting to get from the Asian countries and also just you know with the economy getting more expensive um, the prices are going up higher so it is it has always been a luxury item but it's going up even more now. So who is your customer? Like, who is the customer you? My customer is um, mm -hmm. someone who <clears throat> is about, I would say 35 plus, someone who's mm -hmm. established, has a little bit of money, wants something more um, better for themselves. Instead of mm. wearing the cotton t-shirts <laughs> to sleep <laughs> at night, um, you know, for a lot of, especially in Canada, our Canadian women, we we have such a, a variety of climates. Mm. So we have very, very cold in the in the winter and mm. it could be very dry or it could be very humid and mm. it could be very hot and humid in the summer. So wonderful thing about silk is it actually cuts up humidity. So during mm. the winter, if you've got this dry basement kind of cold, or, or you know it, that damp coldness. It, when you wear the the house coat that I actually provide, it, it cuts out the humidity. You don't feel that that bone chilliness. 
So mm. it actually helps out, and it also helps moisturize the skin. It's um, oh. it's a wonderful natural product mm. that actually does that. It doesn't absorb all the the moisture from the skin, so it warm um, moisturizes the skin. Helps with um, any kind of skin problems. That's an eczema and it's hypoallergenic. So mm -hmm. it's really beneficial for um, just a regular day use item. What what would be your theme song if you had one? Oh, this is gonna take me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> how embarrassing. Um, <laughs> I get so, uh, I think the only song that really, really brings me up, and, and it's timeless and classic song, <laughs> Okay. is uh, I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. <laughs> oh, okay. A little, a little disco. But it's fun, and it, yeah. it helps me with, you know, when you're down, when you're up, or it just brings you up to such a point where it makes you feel good. Who has been some of your your sheroes or your heroes that have kind of helped mentor you in your development of you know growth in your career? Uh, my mother has been a great great support, and I mm. think um, a lot of people do say that because without the support of someone who you love and care about, mm. it's very difficult to to actually do this and and want to do this. Beyond that, I've, I have a great supportive network of designer friends who, who see what I'm doing and they, they do support me in that sense. But it's, you know, I think family is very important. Where can everyone find your gear? Uh, well, um, I do regular pop-up shops um, throughout the city, and mm -hmm. um, I'm actually looking, really looking forward to doing the one-of-a-kind show this Christmas. Mm -hmm. So it's it's the largest uh, North American trade show, um, and it's we're it's based in Canada, so it's based in Toronto. So we're very very lucky to have it, and it's a it's a wonderful great exposure. I'm also available online um, at my website at diacollections.com, mm -hmm. and uh, I saw a few things on Etsy as well. Great. But thank you so much again for taking time out to, to do you. this. We really really appreciate it. Thank you.